Hello, good evening, everyone. How are you today? Hello, teacher. Hello, teacher. Hello, Ana Yancy. Good evening. Hello, Elias. Hello, Claudia. Welcome to the class. Hello, Thanks teacher. a lot for your punctuality. Thank you very much to be here punctual. Thanks a lot. How are you today, Claudia? A little sick. Oh, you feel sick. I'm sorry to hear that. What's going on? Okay, gripe. Ah, you have the flu. I'm sorry. I hope that you get better soon. Thank you. I hope so. I hope so too. And Elias, how are you tonight? Hello, Elias, how are you? Very good. Ah, Elias is very good, okay. Excellent. So let's close this. Hey, how was your day today? How was your day? Was it busy, relaxing, tired, exhausting, interesting? How was your day? I am busy. Ah, you are busy right now. Okay. It was a very busy day. Okay. By the way, in the United States, they are in a party, right? So happy Thanksgiving. Happy Thanksgiving Day. So here in El Salvador, probably we don't celebrate this that day or right? that celebration, Thanksgiving. But in the United States, they do. It is a, a very nice celebration in the United States. And important too, right? It's a very important celebration, Thanksgiving Day. And that is happening today. So the last class we were studying uh, with reviewing the simple past tense. And tonight we are going to continue practicing the simple past. Why is so important the simple past? Well, it is one of the tense which is uh, more used in English. El pasado es uno de los tiempos que más se utiliza en inglés. So that's why it is important to practice a lot. And tonight we are going to continue practicing we are going to have a review about the equations. The equation with auxiliary did, a regular and irregular verb, and equation with the verb be, was and where. That is the topic for today. So do you have any question about the platform, platform exercises and evaluation? In which section are you working on? In which section are you working on? Can you please tell me? I finished. Oh, congratulations, Claudia. You have already finished the exercises on the, platform, on the platform. Elias, congratulations too. Very good. Eh, Elena, Brenda, Ana Yancy, ¿cómo van en la plataforma? My teacher, yo mal, me avanzaba. Okay, Elena, thank you for being sincere. Hey, don't worry, you still have time. Todavía tiene tiempo, ¿no? Yo finished, teacher. Espero ponerme al día este fin de semana. Ah, okay, excellent, very good. That is a nice plan. You can do it, I'm sure that you can. If no, I'm going to be happy to assist you, to help you. If you have any doubt during the weekend, you can write and I'm going to help you. Thank you, sir. Okay, you're welcome. And I say congratulations. You said that you have already finished the platform. Very good. And Brenda? And Brenda? Did you finish eh, the exercise? Bueno, el fin de semana espero. No, aún no, teacher. Pero el fin de semana, bueno, el día de mañana viernes, el fin de semana espero avanzar. Okay, excellent. Alto. Very nice plans. I'm sure that you can do it. And as I said to Elena, I'm, I'm here to help you. If you don't have any question in doubt, you can write on the WhatsApp group 
or to my personal WhatsApp and I'm going to help you. I'm going to be happy to help you. So don't worry about that. Hello, Catherine. Hello, Julian, Yvonne. Welcome to the class. Good evening. How are you Hello. today? Hello, teacher. Thank you. Okay. Hello. Ya celebrando que mañana es viernes. Tomorrow is Friday again. Time flies. Time flies. Yes. Yes. Tomorrow is Friday again. And this is the last weekend of November, right? The next weekend is going to be December, right? So you are uh, you are preparing the party for Christmas, the food, the five crackers, and also the drinks, right? Drinks, Coca-Cola, Pepsi, that is what they say. Salva Cola, Nicola. <laughs> Okay, so get prepared for that, for that party. Let's start with tonight class. And here is the topic for today. Let me show you. I am sharing with you my screen. So let me know if you can see the presentation, please. Yes, a second. This is charging. Okay, here is the presentation. Can you already see it? Yeah. Yes, okay, thanks a lot. So let's start. W equation we did was in where. That is the topic for tonight. We are going to have a review about questions. We did was in where. So this is your class number 14. Welcome everybody. Let's start with the class. What did she do this morning? Look at this picture. Look at the next picture. How is she? Como esta ella? How is she? Yes, yeah, she's tired. So what did she do this morning? ¿Qué cree que hizo esta mañana? Why is she tired? Exercise. Okay, she exercised. Excellent. She exercised. Any other opinion? Any other idea? And with this, let's see. Let's start with the first one. She did exercise for two hours. Very good. She did exercise. For, okay. She ran. She ran. Very good. She ran 10 kilometers. Corrió 10 kilómetros. ¿Any otra idea? Mm. la bicicleta? Oh, she rode a bicycle. Oh, that is a new one. Very good. She rode a bicycle. Okay. She walked. Oh, she walked. She walked. I have this other idea here. She did aerobics. She did aerobics and she played soccer. She played soccer. Oh, probably she was in a party last night, right? She was in a party last night and she is still sleeping in a park. Now let's see. Um, I need two volunteers, please. Who wants to practice? Catherine. Okay, Catherine in. Yeah. Okay, Julian, can you please read the question and Catherine, the ideas, the first sentences in simple past that I have here. Can you please? What did she do this morning? She did exercise for two hours. The next one, Catherine, please. She ran 10 kilometers. Yes. Kilometers. She, she did aerobics. She played soccer. Excellent. Very good. Thank you. So simple past tense, right? She did exercise for two hours. She ran 10 kilometers. She did aerobics. She played soccer. So did regular or irregular vary? Do you remember that? Irregular. Irregular. Excellent. Run. Regular. 
No, ah. it's irregular. Irregular. Yes. You are right. It's irregular. And played. She played soccer. Regular verb. Oh, that is a regular verb. Excellent. Let's look in the next picture. What did he do last night? Look at the picture. Wow, look at this boy. What did he do last night? Okay, so en la noche, now he's sleepy. She homework. Yeah. He homework. Oh, she, she or he? Oh, he. Okay, he. excellent. He did in past, right? He did homework. He did homework. Let's see what is homework. the first idea I have. He studied the whole night. He studied the whole night. Or he did homework the whole night. Any other idea? Let's see that again. He read two books last night. He read two books last night. ¿Alguna vez les tocó así? Dos libros en una noche? Two books no. in a night? No? Yes. No. Yes. Yes. Okay. That is really hard. It's really hard. Uh, he did homework last night, as Elia said. He did homework. And the last idea I have here, he wrote a report. He wrote a report. Él escribió un reporte. So, to volunteer to practice in this conversation, please. Hello, anyone? Me, Elia. Elias and. Brenda. Thank you, Brenda. So, Brenda, can you please read the question and Elias the sentences? Okay. Uh, what did he, he do? Perdón, voy a empezar. What did he do last night? He studied the whole night. He read two books last night. He did homework last night. He wrote, wrote a report. Excellent. Very good. He studied. He studied the whole night. Study the regular or irregular period? Study. Regular. Excellent. That is a regular period. What about read? He read two books last night. Regular period. Mm, actually, no. That is irregular. That is irregular in growth. In growth, great growth. Irregular verb. It's irregular. irregular. Verb. It's an irregular too. So let's continue. Look at the next picture. What did they do last night? What did they do last night? Party. Oh, they were in a party. Probably they were in a party, yes. So what more? Any other idea? Let's see what I have here. The first one, they went to a party last night. So in past, they went, they went to a party last night. The next one, let's see the next one. They danced a lot. They danced a lot. They ate delicious food. They ate delicious food. They drank wine and champagne. They were really happy. They were really happy. And the next one, they enjoyed the night. They enjoy the night. And the last one, they toasted with their friends. So any new vocabulary in those sentences? In simple past tense? No new vocabulary? Toasted? Toasted, brindar. They toasted with their friends. Any other new word? Real? Real? See, let's see, let's see what he said. They were really happy. Oh, they were really happy. That is the verb in past. They were really happy. Ellas estaban muy o realmente felices. Okay. Okay, thank you for your question. Any other? Any other question? Then let's see what did they do last night? ¿Qué hicieron ellas la noche pasada? I need a volunteer to read sentence number one, two, and three, please. Any volunteer? Claudia, teacher. Thank you, Claudia. Can you please start? 
they went to a party last night. They danced a lot. They ate delicious They ate delicious food. Thank you. Any other volunteer to read sentences number four, five, six, and seven, please? Hey, teacher. Thank you, Julian. They drank wine and champagne. They were mm -hmm. really happy. They enjoyed the night. They tasted with their friends. Excellent. Thanks a lot, Julian. So they drank wine and champagne. Very good. And the next one, they enjoyed. They enjoyed the night. Okay. Very good. Okay. Así va a ser su foto en la fiesta de Navidad, right? Christmas party. Mm -hmm. Let's go with this expression. We're going to learn tonight this expression that we use in simple past. Uh, let's see. Last week, last month, last weekend, last Sunday, and last night. We use this expression to say when, when in the past some, something happened. Eh, cuando en el pasado algo sucedió. Let's see, for example, I went to a party last week. Cuando fui a la fiesta? Cuando fui a una fiesta? Last week. Okay, excellent. Last week, la semana pasada. Then you say, I bought. I bought a car last year. I bought a car last year. What's the meaning of that sentence? I bought a car last year. Yo compré un carro when. What is last year? Un año. Okay, very good. Hace un año. O el año pasado. El año pasado. Eh, yeah, you can say last month, el mes pasado, last weekend, el fin de semana pasado, last Sunday, el domingo pasado, o last night, anoche. So we can also use yesterday. Yesterday, what is the meaning of this word? Yesterday. Is it is it mañana o ayer? Ayer. Okay, excellent. Ayer. Yesterday means ayer. So yesterday. If you want to be a little bit more specifically, si quieres ser un poco más específico, o when yesterday, o what time yesterday, a qué horas ayer. So you say yesterday morning, yesterday evening, yesterday afternoon, yesterday night. And the day before yesterday, we can use this, the day before yesterday. So yesterday morning, ayer en la mañana, yesterday evening, yesterday evening, ayer al anochecer. En la noche. Así es, al anochecer, en la noche. Yesterday afternoon, ayer en la noche. afternoon. Por la tarde. Ayer por la en tarde. la tarde, yes, por la tarde, en yesterday night. Por la noche. Por, Por la, la noche. noche. Ya bastante tarde. Ya muy noche. Yesterday night. And the day before yesterday, it's mean. Antier o un día antes de ayer. Antier, right? We say antier, the day before yesterday. Also, you can use the next expression to talk in past 10 minutes ago. An hour ago. Three days ago, a week ago, a month ago, a year ago. So let's see, when did you have dinner? When did you have dinner? A que hora se no? And you say, I had dinner an hour ago. Cené hace una hora. I have dinner 10 minutes ago. Hace 10 minutos. And also you can use this other expression in plus a year. So do you remember yesterday question? When, when were you born? When were you born? Cuando nació, and then you say, I was born in 1980. I was born in 
1999. I was in 2000. So you can use this expression too. Ah, you can say in March, in marzo, in March. When did you get married? When did you get married? Cuando se casó, and you say in March, in marzo, in marzo, in March. So let's see, when did you go to work? When did you go to work? And you say on Monday. El lunes, ¿verdad? ¿Cuándo fue a trabajar? On Monday, el lunes. So we can use this expression, last week, last month, last weekend, last Sunday, last night, yesterday, yesterday morning, yesterday evening, yesterday afternoon, yesterday night, the day before yesterday, 10 minutes ago, an hour ago, three days ago, a week ago, a month ago, a year ago. And also with time in 1980, in March on Monday. Let's see, we're going to have some practice at this time. So look at this small conversation, number one. Where did you go yesterday? So, where did you go yesterday? ¿Dónde fuiste? ¿Cuándo? Ayer. Ayer. ¿Dónde fuiste ayer? I went to the hospital. When did you get married? When did you get married? ¿Cuándo se casó? When did you get married? When did you get And you say, I get married five years ago. Okay. So now here is a mistake. Let me tell you why. I'm going to fix it right now. Just give me a second. As it is in past, what is the past of the very get? Got. Got, okay. So we're going to change that here. Got, I got married five years ago. Okay, now here we have this. Uh, when was your graduation? When was your graduation? Cuando fue su graduación? And you say, my graduation was two weeks ago. Fue hace dos semanas. When was your graduation? Uh, when was the soccer match? Uh, let's see. When was the soccer match? Cuando fue el partido de fútbol? And you say it. It was. It was yesterday. It was yesterday afternoon. So who wants to practice in the two in the two first small conversation? In las primeras dos, who wants to practice? Any volunteer tonight? Catherine. Okay, Catherine and Me teacher. And Elena Martinez. Thank you. Can you please start, Catherine? Where did you go yesterday? I went to the hospital. When did you get married? I got married this year ago. Excellent, things a lot. I got married five years ago. I get married five okay. years ago. Okay. <laughs> uh, the next one, uh, any two volunteers to practice in the next two conversations? Me teacher. Thank you, Maria. Maria, Maria and Julian. Julian, can you please start? When was your graduation? My graduation was two weeks ago. When was the soccer match? It was yesterday, yesterday afternoon. Excellent, very good. Thank you, thank you very much. Maria, Catherine and Elena, Maria and Julian, thank you. Uh, let's see, uh, where did you go yesterday with your own information, con su propia información? Who wants to answer that question? Where did you go yesterday? 
And you say, I went to, in the place where I went you, to the study English. Um, I went to study English. Okay, you study English. I went to study English. We are studying English. Okay, cool. But where? The question is said where? Don't they? Mm. In, in my, my house. house. Okay, so I went to my house to study English. Cool. I went to my house to study English. Okay, very good. Any other answer? Where did you go yesterday? I went I to the work. Excellent. I went to the work. I went to the work. I went to the to the church. Sure. Oh, I went yes, to yes. the church. Church. I church. went to the church. Mm, nobody went to the park. Can you say I went to the park. I went to the mall. I went to the gymnasium. Oh, I went gym. to the gym. I went to the gym. Any other? I went to the grocery store. Okay, now the next question. When did you get married? When did you get married? With your own information. Cuando dio el mal paso? Digo, cuando se casó? When did you get married? And you say, no, I. I Ah, no yet. And you say, I'm single. I am single. Soy soltero. I am single. I am single. Okay, Jacqueline. Jacqueline is single. Solo soltero, I'm a I am single. <laughs> Elias, too. Okay. Bueno. I got married one year ago. Oh, one year ago. Very good. I got married five. Five years. I, Five years I ago. Excellent. Okay. Any other answer? Teacher, es que viera, ya no me acuerdo. Ah, <laughs> <man>. <laughs> okay, let's go with the next one. When was your graduation? When was your graduation? Mm -hmm. Of college or high school? When was your graduation? My graduation was to was 10 years ago. 10 years ago. That is a long time ago. Very good. Thank you, Julian. Excellent answer. Any other answer? When was your graduation? My graduation was two years ago. Two years ago. Very good. Very good answer. Thank you. When was your graduation? Any other answer? My graduation was four weeks ago. Four weeks ago, oh, congratulations. That is recently, very good. Congratulations. Four My graduation ago. was to five ago. Five years ago, five years, years ago. ago. Okay, thank you, Elias. A very good answer. The last one, when was your graduation? Anybody? When was the soccer match? No, the same question. No, no, when was your graduation? The last answer. The last volunteer, please. When was your graduation? My graduation was 14 years, years ago. Okay. My graduation was 14 years ago. Very good. Thank you, Claudia. Excellent answer. Uh, the last one. When was the soccer match? And you say, teacher, what soccer match? Which soccer match? And then it was yesterday afternoon. Let's see, when was the last soccer match of Real Madrid? Madrid you know? teacher. When was the last soccer match of the Real Madrid team? Yes. When? Don't um, you know? Ninguno. Ninguno. No, it is cuando fue el último partido del Real Madrid. Do you know the answer? Yesterday. Oh. Yesterday. yesterday. Okay, it was yesterday. Very good. 
Did they it win? Yesterday. Did they win? Ganaron ellos? Did they win? Did they yes. Win three, three a zero. Okay, the score three. was three zero. Very good. Let's go with the next. When was the last time you? Cuando fue la última vez que usted hizo las siguientes actividades? You can answer any volunteer to answer the first question. Any volunteer to answer the first. When was the last time you visited a friend? Last weekend. Last weekend. Oh, last weekend. Very good. Last weekend. Any other answer? When was the last time you visited a friend? Last weekend. Year. Last year, last weekend. Last year. Last year. Yesterday. Yesterday, excellent, yesterday. So don't forget about your friends, right? Después de la pandemia, nadie se quiere visitar, but at least text them. Al menos escriba, let's friend, to your friend. Let's go to the next one. When was the last time you took a shower? When was the last time you took a shower? ¿Cuándo fue la última vez que tomaron una ducha? Yes, that is the right question. Hace unas nueve horas. Oh, you say nine hours ago. Nine hours ago. Any other answer? When was the last time you took a shower? One hour ago. One hour ago. Excellent. So you say the last weekend. Ten hours ago. Ten hours ago. Let's go to the next one. When was the last time you cook a cake or a pizza? Last weekend. Oh, it was a cake or a pizza? Pizza. Last pizza. Oh, it was a pizza. pizza. Pizza to Maria Luz, it was a pizza. Let's go with the next one. When was the last time you drank coffee? When was the last time you drank coffee? Seven hours ago. Seven hours ago. Any other answer? Last morning. This morning. In the afternoon. Uh, okay, in the uh, afternoon. 30 minutes ago. 30 minutes ago. Todavía efectos de la cafeína. Drunk coffee. Teacher. Yes. 10 minutes ago. No tomo café. I don't drink coffee. Yes, I don't drink coffee. Or oh, I don't like coffee. I don't like coffee. Mm -hmm. I don't like coffee. Next, let's see. When was the last time you ate spaghetti? Eight. When was the last time you ate spaghetti? Um, two months. Two months ago. Two months ago. Any other answer? When was the last time you ate spaghetti? Yesterday. I ate spaghetti yesterday. Very good. Last Sunday, I go. Last Sunday, very good. Last Sunday. Let's go with the next question. When was the last time you cleaned your bedroom? Last Sunday. Last Sunday. Yesterday. Yesterday. One hour ago. One hour ago. One hour ago. It's the next one. When was the last time you laughed really hard that made you cry? Cuando fue la última vez que se rió tanto o tan fuerte que hasta lloró that made you cry? Ya yeah, no recuerdo. <laughs> I don't I remember. remember. You don't remember. I don't remember, teacher. Okay, let's go with the next. When was the last time you helped somebody? Was. ¿Qué es eso, teacher? Ayudar a alguien. Yes, yes, that is the answer. When was the last time you helped somebody? Para decir ahora? Yesterday? 
Or you can say today or yesterday. It was ayer or hoy. Today in the morning. Or you say, I helped somebody this morning. I helped somebody I this morning. I helped somebody this morning. This I morning. helped somebody this morning. Okay. Thank you. I helped somebody this morning. This morning. This, this morning. This morning. Any other answer? When was the last time you helped somebody? I, I helped don't remember. Somebody. You afternoon. don't remember? Oh, this afternoon. This afternoon? Okay. Had a tough age. When was the last time you had a tough age? When was the last time you had a tough age? Tuf, tuf ache. Un dolor de, de... Yes, tuf ache. Dolor de muelas, ¿verdad? Dientes no. de muelas. Yes, Bien. ¿cuándo fue la última vez que tuvo un dolor de muelas? Tuf ache. Uh, no remember. One year, ¿ah, uh, no? Three years. Last, last, last three years. No, you say three years ago. Ah, uh, three years ago. I had a tuf ache. Three years ago. I have a tooth age three tooth. years. Okay, toothache. 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 Tooth, toothache. Toothache. Okay, much better now. I had a toothache three years ago. Any other answer? When was the last time you had a toothache? I had a tooth ache two years ago. Two years ago. Very good answer. Any other answer? Ay, ustedes iban al dentista. Yes, teacher. Okay, very yes. good. Okay, I can see that you visit your dentist regularly. Let's go with the next one. Uh, when was the last time you said I love you to somebody? Two minutes ago. Ah, oh, two minutes ago. Any other answer? When was the last time you said, I love you? Ten minutes ago. Ten minutes ago. Excellent. Let's see the next one. When was the last time you cut your hair? ¿Cuándo fue la última vez que se cortó el cabello? One year ago. One year two ago. Months, two months ago. Two months ago. Last month. One month ago. One month ago. Excellent. Any last answer? weekend. Month ago. A month ago. Last weekend. Very good answer. Thank you. In the last one, when was the last time you went to dance? When was the last time you went to dance? Never. Never? Yes, never. En mi casa todos los días, ¿cómo se dice? Oh, I dance every day at home. I dance every day at home. At the home, <laughs> excellent. Cuando estaba riendo, trapeando. Yes. Okay, cool, very good. So in this question, we use the, let's see, the expression Teacher, that we learn. Yes? Say I love you. No, no entendí. Ah, ¿cuándo fue la última vez que usted le dijo a alguien, te amo, I love you, o te quiero? Mm, good morning. Oh, this morning, this morning. Good. It's the next. The next one is a conversation and it says, so Chuck, where did you grow up? Uh, where did you grow up? I grew up in Texas. I was born there too. And when did you come to Los Angeles? In 1990, I went to college here. Oh, what was your major drama? I was an actor for five years after college. That's interesting. So why did you become a hairstylist? Because I needed the money and I love it. Look, what do you think? 
Uh, do you think he is a very good stylist? Miren cómo le dejó el cabello a la chica. Do you think that he is a very good stylist? ¿Es él un buen estilista? Mm. No la ve muy contenta ella. <laughs> no, no really, right? Probably no. No, no really. Okay, so look at this question. This is an information question. Where did you grow up? Where did you grow up? Donde creciste? Then it says, I grew up in Texas. I was born there too. And when did you come to Los Angeles? Cuando llegaste a Los Angeles? In 1990. I went to college here. Fui a la universidad aquí. aquí. Oh, what was your major? ¿Cuál fue tu carrera? Drama. I was an actor for five years after college. That's interesting. So why did you become a hairstylist? Because I needed the money and I love it. Look, what do you think? Well, mm, so these uh, type of question are information question, like the ones we studied yesterday. They ask for information. The first one, where did you grow up? Can you please answer that question? Where did you grow up? Donde creció usted? And you say the city. Let's see the example, the answer. I grew up in Texas. So you have to say, I grew up in San Salvador. I grew up in La Paz. I grew up in, what? La Libertad. La Libertad, okay, excellent. So where did you grow up? Can you please answer that question? With your own information, where did you grow up? Julian, where did you grow up? I grew up in Santana. Santana, okay. Eh, Claudia, where did you grow up? I grew up in San Salvador. Thank you. Let's see, Miriam, where did you grow up? Is it Miriam in the class today? It's uh, Brenda. Brenda, where did you grow up? I grew up, grew up in San Salvador. In San Salvador, very good. Now let's see. Let's go with the next. We're going to see some examples. Here is. Teacher, una, una pregunta, teacher. Yes. En esa, en esa anterior, este, so eh, bien utilizado, verdad? Y, y así como en este caso empieza, ¿qué dice cuando dice so? So why, did Melissa, you, so. so, why did you become a hairstylist? So it says no, that. No, en la primera, en la primera aquí. Oh, so, 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 where did you grow up? It's like, como, así que, así que, so, tú creciste, ¿dónde creciste? Mm. Y, como, y abajo es casi lo mismo. Sí, así que, ¿por qué? O oh, dime por qué, ¿verdad? So, why did you become a hairstylist? Así que, ¿por qué te convertiste en un estilista? Ok. That's it. Gracias, teacher. Ok. Let's go with the example. So, where did you grow up? I grew up in Texas. When did you come to Los Angeles? I came to Los Angeles in 1990. ¿Quién se movió del lugar de donde creció? ¿Quién se mudó de ahí? Mi teacher. Oh, Mi María. Teacher. Ok, Jacqueline, María Luz. So then, when did you come? ¿Cuándo llegó, verdad? A la ciudad donde vive ahora. So let's see, for example, in this case, where did you grow up? I grew up in Texas. So it's another state of the United States. And it says, when did you come to Los Angeles? ¿Y cuándo llegaste a Los Ángeles? I came to Los Angeles in 1990. Now, why did you become a hairstylist? This is for a reason. ¿Por qué? ¿Por qué llegaste a ser un estilista? And you say, because I needed the money. Because I needed the money. Porque necesitaba el dinero. How old were you in 1990? I was 18. 
¿Qué edad tenías en 1990? And I was 18. Tenía 18. Now with your own information, can you please tell me how old were you in 1990? No había nacido, teacher. Oh, Jacqueline wasn't born. No había nacido. Elías tampoco, ok. Elías neither. Neither Elías. ¿Quién sí había nacido en 1990? Yo tampoco, teacher. Catherine, ok. Catherine neither, neither Catherine. I am 14. Oh, you say I was. I was I 14. Was. I was, perdón, I was 14. I was 13. Very good. Now, what was your major in college? ¿Cuál fue su carrera en la universidad? Sí, it was drama. It was English. It was business administration. It was accountant. It was law. It was teaching. It was medicine. What was your major in college? It was business administration. Okay, excellent. It was business administration. Any other answer? What was your major in college? It was international affairs. Okay, excellent. Any other? It was lawyer. Oh, it was loads. It was loads. Lawyer. Oh, now you are a lawyer, right? Yes. And then you say, it was layers, loads, it was loads. Uh, how was college? How was college? ¿Cómo fue la experiencia en la universidad? How was college? In, in this case, the answer is, it was great. It was great. Fue grandioso. And in your case, how was college? It was great too? Yes. Yes, it yes. was. Yes, it was. Okay, excellent. Uh, how was your high school? How was your high school? ¿Cómo fue el bachillerato for you? How was high school? It was great. It was great. You can say it was excellent. Great. It was perfect. It was awesome. Or you say it was boring. It was bad. It was horrible. So let's see, to make a WH question or an information question, we're going to use this structure, WH word, auxiliary did, subject, verb in present, complement plus the question mark. So why did you eat my dinner? Look at this question. Why did you eat my dinner? Por qué te comiste mi cena? Because it looked delicious and I was hungry. Ya, les han, ya los han dejado sin cenar? Why did you eat my dinner? Yes. Yes. And he <laughs> said, because it looked delicious and I was hungry. Porque se miraba delicioso y yo estaba hambriento. So why is the WH word? It did, here is the auxiliary, the subject is you, the verb in present is complement my dinner and the question mark. And here is the answer because it looked delicious and I was hungry. Now with the verb being, we are going to use the WH word, was or where, depending on the subject. Va a depender del sujeto. Plus complement, plus the question mark. What was your favorite subject at high school? What was your favorite subject at high school? My favorite subject was French. So here is the WH word, was. Uh, this is the subject, your favorite subject, a uh, complement at high school and a question mark. And here is the answer. My favorite subject was French. I need two volunteers who wants to participate. Two volunteers, please, in this part. Me, Elia. Elias and... Elena. Elías en Elena. Pueden leer los dos ejemplos. Practicar la conversación en los dos ejemplos, please. Elías, you are A, and Elena, you are B. 
Why did you eat my dinner? Because look delicious and the hungry. And they were hungry. What was your favorite subject at high school? My favorite subject was was French. Was French. French. Excellent. Excellent. Thank you, Elena. Thank you. I need another volunteer, Catherine and any other volunteer, Catherine and Julian. Thank you, Julian. Can you please start, Catherine, and then Julian? What, what was your favorite subject at my school? My favorite subject was French. French, okay, high school, high school. Can you please practice the first one too, this one? Why did you eat my dinner? Because it looked delicious and I was hungry. Thank you. Thank you very much. Looked. 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 Eh, en este caso termina el sonido de K, el verbo look. Como es regular, vamos a pronunciar la ED como una T. Looked. 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 Because it looked delicious and I was hungry. Hungry. French. French es francés, but teacher. Yes, my favorite subject was French. Mi materia favorita fue francés. O era francés. Do you have any teacher, question? Yes. Um, the question. Mm -hmm. ¿Cómo o cuándo saber cómo usar did o usar was o were? Oh, ok. Utilizamos was and were cuando estamos utilizando el verbo to be. Y vamos a utilizar did con los verbos regulares e irregulares. Solo so, con los verbos así, regulares e irregulares, se usa el did. Se usa el did. Si es el verbo to be, vamos a utilizar was o were. Mm, thank you. Ok. Ok, let's see this. I'm going to choose someone and you're going to answer this question. Look at this. Eh, Cada tarjetita tiene un tema. ¿verdad? For example, the first one is about vacation. And you say, where did you go on your last vacation? Is it a yes, no question or information question? Where did you go on your last vacation? Information question. Oh, yes. It's asking for a place, right? It's asking for a place. Where? Where did you go on your last vacation? And you say, I went, I went to, I went to Mexico. I went to the beach. I went to the park. I went to visit my grandparents. So the next, how did you go there? It's another information question. How did you go there? Como fue ahí? And you say, I went by car. I went by bus. I went by airplane. So what did you do? What did you do? ¿Qué hizo ahí? You say, I swam, I ate fish. Si el lugar fue la playa, pero dice, I swam, yo nadé, I ate fish. What did you see? ¿Qué viste? And you say, I saw the sea. Yo vi el mar. Let's see what is next. Any volunteer for the next one? Quiero ver. Any volunteer for the next? Who say me? Don't be afraid of the question. They are easy. No me teacher. Oh, thank you, Catherine. The next one is about the school. I have two yes no question and one information question. Let's see the first one. Did you have a test yesterday? Did you have? Uh, and then you say, yes, I did. No, I didn't. No, I didn't. I and didn't. Then, the next no, one. Did you get bad grade last week? Did you get bad grades last week? 
¿Tuvo malas notas o malas calificaciones la semana pasada? No. No, I oh, no, I didn't. Very good. Now, Catherine, what was your favorite school subject two years ago? Oh, what was your favorite school subject? And you say it was in the name of the subject. What was your favorite school subject? What can I say, teacher? ¿Cuál fue su materia favorita en la escuela? Ah, oh, I... It was... I was... Favorite, it, I was... My was favorite... Uh, math. Ah, math. Ok, then you say, it was math. It, it was, was math. Can you please say was the same thing? Mad. It was mad. Once again, Catherine, it was mad. Say the sentence, please. It was mad. Catherine? Yes. Can you say Catherine. the sentence, please? Puede decir la oración, por favor. It was mad. Ah. It was math. Excellent. Much better. Any other volunteer for the next question? Me, teacher. Thank Me you, teacher. Julian. Okay, the primero Julian and la siguiente Sheila. Okay, Julian, here are your questions. Did you send any emails one hour ago? It's a yes, no question. Did you send any emails one hour ago? No, I don't. No, I not. No, I didn't. No, I didn't. No, I didn't. Okay, excellent. Did you chat online yesterday? Did you chat online yesterday? Chat. Did you chat? I, I did yesterday? chat. Okay. Uh, sería, uh, yes, I did. This sería, yes. Uh, yes, I did. Yes, I did chat online yesterday. Excellent. Uh, did you watch any videos on the internet yesterday? I I did I did you watch any video on the internet yesterday? Oh, then let's see. Last three on yes no question. So you say yes. Oh, I perdón. Did. Yes, so, I did or no, I didn't. Very good answer. Thank you, Julian. Just the last one. Did you watch any videos on the internet yesterday? I, yeah. I just did. Yes, I did. Okay, excellent. Yes, yes I, I did. did. Yes, I did. Perfect. Uh, Shayla, let's go with Shayla. It's about okay. reading. It's about reading, Shayla. Did you read a book last month? Yes, I did. What was it about? Um... ¿De qué trataba? What was it about? Quiero ver. Can you say yeah. it, it was it, about? It was about love. It was about loads. Mm -hmm. Okay. Did you like it? Uh, yeah, yes. I, yes, I like it. Yes, I did. What? Yes, yes, I did. I, oh, sorry, oh, sorry. Okay, very good. Any other volunteer for the next question? Don't be afraid. Any volunteer? Hey, Claudia. Okay, Claudia. Sport. Did you go jogging in the morning? Jogging is trotar. To, did you go jogging in the morning? No, I didn't. Okay, did you go skiing last winter? No, I didn't. Did you swim last summer? Yes, I did. Did you train yesterday? Yes, I did. Okay, very good. Thanks a lot, Claudia. Any other volunteer for the next questions? Me, Elia. Thank you, Elia. It's about birthday. Where did you celebrate your last birthday? Where did you celebrate yes, your I last did. birthday? 
Oh, this is an information question. It says, where? Donde? Donde celebró su último cumpleaños? Where did you celebrate your last birthday? In my house. Okay, In Jacqueline said, house. I have Elias too at my house. How many friends did you invite? Yes. How cuántas? Cuántos, cuántos amigos invitó? How many friends did you invite? And you say, 20. Uh, oh, 20, 20 friends. I invited 20 friends. 20 friends. I, ¿cómo in, sería? In, I invited 20 friends. I invited 20 friends. In what present did you get? ¿Qué regalos recibió? What present did you get? And then you say money, a smartphone, shoes, clothes. Mi viaje a las islas. Ah, okay. <laughs> Two money, tickets. shoes. Money, shoes. T-shirts. Yes. Jacqueline, do you have a question? No, quise decir camisetas. <laughs> oh, t-shirt, t-shirt. Very good, let's go with the next. Any volunteer to answer the next one? It's about shopping. The last volunteer, el último voluntario. Me too. Okay, did you go shopping last week? Yes, I did. What did you buy? And you buy. say, uh, I bought, yo compré, I bought. I bought is shoes. Shoes. Did you go shopping alone? It means, did you go no, shopping? I uh, no, no, I didn't. didn't. How no, much? Didn't. How much? No, La respuesta estaba correcta, la primera. Okay. No, no, I didn't. No, I didn't. ¿Fue de compra sola? Sí, no, I didn't. No andaba sola. How much did you spend? ¿Cuánto gastó? How much did you spend? Twenty. Twenty dollars. I spent twenty dollars. Ok, very good. I uh, spent twenty dollars. Twenty dollars. Excellent. Housework. Did you clean your room last Friday? Yes, I did or no, I didn't? Yes, I did. Yes, yes I did. Did you water any plants yesterday? Yes, I did. did you water mm -hmm. any plants yesterday? No, I didn't. Le echó no, agua didn't. a las plantas ayer? Yes, I did or no, I yes, didn't? I did. No, I didn't. Did you iron yesterday? Planchó usted ayer? Did you iron yesterday? No, I, no, I, I didn't. No, I didn't. Did you drink three cups of coffee yesterday? ¿Se tomó usted tres casas de café ayer? Did you drink three oh, cups of coffee yesterday? Coffee. Yes, oh, I I did. Did. Yes. Yes, yes, I did. Yes, I did. Yes, I did. Okay. Next question. What did you eat? Two hours ago. What did you eat two hours ago? Um, ¿Qué comió hace dos horas? Yes, yes, ¿qué comió hace dos horas? And you say, I, 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 ate, I ate chicken. Very good. I ate. Huevitos y frijolitos. Oh, I ate beans and eggs. I ate beans and eggs. I ate pupusas. I ate pupusas, very good. At, I ate fruit. I ate food. Did your mom cook yesterday? Did your mom cook yesterday? Cocinó su mamá ayer. No, I didn't. Yes, I did. Yes, yes, I did. Oh, in este caso sería your mom is she. Yes, she did. No, she didn't. No, she didn't. No, no she, she didn't. didn't. 
No, she yes, didn't. Yes, she did. The last question, did you eat any fish last week? No, I didn't. No, I didn't. No, I no, didn't. I didn't. No, you didn't, okay. Did you watch TV yesterday? Yes, I did. No, I didn't. Did you watch TV yes, yesterday? Yes, I yes, did. I yes, I did. Yes, I did. Okay, if you say yes, si usted dijo sí, let's see the next question. What did you watch? He said, I watched. I watched. I watched. I watched. A movie. Or uh, a... In the series. Oh, which one? A sit serie? sitcom. 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 Novela. So do you say novela? A movie. Sub opera. Sub opera. Novela. Sub opera. I watch a sub opera. Mm -hmm. I watch soccer match. I watch a soccer match. The last question, did you watch it alone? Did you watch it alone? Vio televisión usted solo? Did you watch it alone? Yes, no, I did. I didn't. No, no, I didn't. No, I didn't. No, I didn't. Okay, very good. So, do you have any question? about the time expression, last week, last month, last year, 10 days ago, one month ago, yesterday morning, yesterday evening, yesterday afternoon, do you have any question? No question. No teacher. No questions, okay. No teacher. Okay. And uh, then just remind you, please uh, finish the platform. If you can finish the platform exercises and evaluation in this coming weekend. If you can do it, terminalize the fin de semana, right? So you are on Monday, you are free. Uh, ya va a estar libre el día lunes. Uh, si les queda por ahí un tiempito el fin de semana y mañana también, but then tomorrow we don't have classes. But you can take advantage of that hour and work on the platform. Try to complete it, right? Intente completarla este fin de semana. Y para los que ya terminaron, pues, very good. Very good job. Congratulations. Thank you very much. Y have a nice weekend. Enjoy with your family. Rest a lot. Y vayan al parque. Do exercise. Do something funny, something interesting. Enjoy your weekend. See you on Monday. Nos vemos el día lunes. See you on Monday, teacher. See you Monday, teacher. Good night. See you Bye. Monday. See you Monday. Bye. 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 Good night, teacher. Thank you. Good night.